Hi guys, it's Joe here from Rufio. Today we are bringing you a deck profile. We are bringing you Red Eyes Dragon Link. Before we do go any further, I do want to welcome you to the channel. If this is your first time here, you should definitely hit subscribe before you go any further and realise that this is absolute fucking garbage and you won't want to come back again. If you're one of them weirdos who's decided to come back again, well, maybe you need to seek some help. As a quick note before we continue, if you would like to pick up any of the singles, maybe you're inspired after this video to pick up some of these cards, you should check out a link in the description of the channel sponsors, Jam Jam Cards UK. There is a discount link in the description for their eBay store. But anyway, that's enough waffling on from me. Let's get stuck in to the deck profile. So before we continue, there's just a couple of things I want to note on apologies if there is a loud noise in the background at all. My laptop is very fucking loud and positioned quite closely to my microphone. It's the best I have at the moment, I'm afraid. But hopefully we'll be able to snip out most of that with the audio editing. It's also worth noting again that this isn't intended to be a super competitive deck. If you want to play a really competitive Dragon Link list, there are way better out there than a Red Eyes option. The idea here is if you really want to be able to play Red Eyes and you want to get the most out of it, this could be a good route to take things down. Again, I would insist that you play this deck, try it out for yourself, see how you get on. Okay, so we are going to go through the list and I'll explain some of my choices here. As for combos and things, there will be tutorials out there for all kinds of good stuff. I'm not going to include it in this video for you, I'm afraid. So we start off with triple copies of red eyes black dragon i mean it's a red eyes deck so you need three copies we're running one copy of red eyes alternative black dragon the idea here is actually just to allow you to get another seven on board really easy to make your rank seven plays it doesn't really do much else and much along with that we've got malefic red eyes black dragon for the same sort of reason being able to just get the free summon out of the hand by banishing one from the deck gets you a seven on board and you can go off from there we have a single copy of Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. Even with the Arata, this card is still incredibly strong. Unfortunately, you just can't abuse it as nearly as much as you could before. But it is still incredibly strong. And of course, it's a Red Eyes card, so what's not to like about that? The only thing that can make this card better is if it was a level 7. Then it would have so much more synergy than it does now. We have a single copy of Tempest. Again, it's a 7. It's nice and easy to summon. Dragon Rulers are broken. You already know how insane they are. So having it in this deck is a must-run option, in my opinion. We then have one copy of Red Eyes Wyvern. I think one is plenty. You really don't need more than this. We've got two copies of the Blackstone of Legend. Again, just to enable you to recur resources and to recycle them to get as much use as possible. We have triple copies of Black Metal Dragon. This is such an important card for this deck. Being able to get it onto the field, being able to search the cards you need, just incredibly important. We then have a single copy of Dark Magician. This is, of course, for Dragoon. We've taken the leaf out of some of the older Dragon Link builds on how we wanted to approach this. So Draconet is going to be included in here. It's super easy and searchable. It gets your entire place set up. Unfortunately, you can't go down the routes that you could before in entirely the same manner, but it does allow you to get those plays started. We have one copy of Flame of All Guard. This is our target, of course, for Draconet. We have a small rocket package. These are just such free summons, free advantage generation. This is going to enable you to just extend and extend and extend. Again, if you look at the combos that are out there, you'll be able to get an idea of how this all works. I'm not going to go through it all in detail here. You really do need to sit, watch those videos, and kind of learn how it all works. So our package just consists of one Absoruta Dragon, one Rocket Tracer, one Recharger, and one Rocket Synchron. We then move on, we've got Noctivision Dragon, we've got two copies of this, again it's a free summon, it's a level 7 so it allows us to go into those ranks, uh, all of that good stuff. We have one copy of Supreme King Dragon Dark Worm, I fucking hate how long that name is. This effectively is just a free summon, if you need a card to get onto the field, you're going to be able to dump this from your deck into the grave with a number of options that we have here, and get it out nice and easy. It also gives you a free way to get your play started again if everything gets wiped out from the field. And then we have a single copy of Phantasme. This is a Spheres target, but again, it's a level 7, so it can also go into those rank plays. If you do happen to open it and you go in second, it's a good way to be able to play. We have omitted hand traps from this particular list. We wanted to just have as many extenders and starters and all that good stuff as possible without being too reactionary to what the opponent is doing. You can include hand traps if you want, but you will lose a little bit of consistency in a deck that already has some issues with bricking already. Moving on, we move on to our searches. So we have triple copies of Silent Mining. This is to get our Draconet. We have triple copies of Allure of Darkness because digging deep is really important in this. Seeing as many of those extenders as possible to just keep our plays tipping round and ideally build an unbreakable board. 
We have a single copy of Red Eyes Fusion. Again, you could run multiples if you wanted. You could also run multiple targets in the extra deck. In reality, though, I think Dragoon on its own is enough. If your opponent can out that, they most almost certainly can out your entire board to usually in a bad position anyway. And if they can't, you've probably won anyway. I think that one is absolutely fine. It's also worth noting that it's a card you really don't want to see in your hand, ideally. You're going to be able to dump it off Predator Plant, and so having the one copy decreases your chances of opening this in your hand. We have a copy of Foolish Burial and a pseudo copy of Foolish Burial. These two do exactly the same thing, and I think that one of each is perfectly fine. You could again up this if this is something that you wanted to do, but I think that's more than enough. We have Boot Sector Launch and Dragon Ravine. These are our two field spells here. You could run Terraforming as well if you wanted to, but we do have ways of searching these outside of this. Again, I think that just keeping the deck a little bit more trim is ideal. These two do so much for your combos, but again, these are combos that you should ideally be looking up along with other Dragon Link combos to get an idea of how the deck plays. We have a single copy of one for one. We have just a couple of targets for this. Again, you can have multiple options, but this will allow you to get into Halka Fibrax a little bit quicker, which means you can get your plays going and building advantage as quickly as possible. We have a single copy of Monster Reborn. It's an extender. It's a starter, whatever you need for the most part. Just a really important power card. There's a reason it's at one on the list. And then we have our World Legacy options. You have Guard, Dragon, and Succession. These, again, are just extenders. They allow you to manipulate your board and that kind of thing to allow you to go through all of those crazy, wacky combos that the deck does. For this particular build, we are omitting the side deck. Again, I say this in all of my deck profiles, so if you've seen multiple, you'll understand. Uh, especially while we're not playing in a particular format as such, it's unlikely that you're attending locals unless you're in one of those lucky countries where you're still able to do that. Currently, we can't because of the ongoing things in the world that I won't say because the buzzword will get me demonetized. But ultimately, it is about what you're playing in. So if you're playing some remote duels, of course, you'll build with what you have. If you're using some unofficial online simulators, you're going to be able to access whatever you need to access. All that kind of stuff. So just keep that in mind when you're building your side deck. That is something that, again, I think you should be tailoring to what you're playing against. Anyway, we move on to the extra deck as promised. So we have a single copy of Dragoon. I mean, you can only make it the once anyway, so who cares? Uh, we have one copy of Borrowed Savage Dragon. This card is just fucking insane. You already know about that. We have two copies of Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon. A lot of lists choose three copies because they want to go for as much burn as quickly as possible. You can put the third in here. I felt like there wasn't really the space to do so. I wanted some of the other options that are available here. Some more fail safeguards and that kind of thing. Again, you can include a third copy if that's something you really want to do. We have a single copy of Striker Dragon. This is for our Rocket plays. Again, if you look up the combos, you'll see this. Uh, we've got our Guard Dragon options. These are just fucking insane. The fact that these are still in the game just baffles me altogether. We have a copy of Romulus. This is going to search our field spell and do other crazy shit. We have a single copy of Vertan Connor. This is for dumping Red Eyes Fusion. It's going to get you Dragoon as quickly as possible. We have Halka Fibrax because it's free as fuck. It helps you build advantage nice and quickly and go off from there. Triple Burst Dragon can be really, really effective against certain decks, but it can also help you get through your combos. If you're getting stuck with position in those zones, particularly because we're using so many link options here, this can give you another way to play. Being able to move the link to the side using the World Legacy card gives you two arrows, which means you can go off from there. We have a single copy of Darkness Metal. This allows you to go through certain plays over and over again. It's got really good link zones. It doesn't come up an awful lot, but it does give you some options out there. We have a single copy of Boral Sword Dragon. You could run Access Code Talker instead, but the fact that it's a dragon has its advantages of its own. I quite like to keep this in for that reason. We have a single copy of Sayuja. It is a dragon, so it can help you out the links that you need to do. It can help you see more and more pieces that you need to see in your hand. Just a really important card for the deck. It allows you to mulligan stuff that you don't really want to see in your hand as well. If you open a bunch of bricks, but you can get to four summons, then you're in a really good position. And our last and final option here is Hieratic Seal of the Heavenly Spheres. You can run multiple targets for this in the deck if you want to. I think Phantasma is probably one of the better ones for giving you protection, but there are plenty of other options to consider. And that is all for today's deck profile. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. Again, it's nothing too serious. It's just about people who want to be able to play Red Eyes at... Probably one of the best ways to possibly play it. This deck isn't super competitive, but it will be fun enough to definitely take to locals and do quite well with most likely. Especially if you learn the combos and potentials down the line of things that you can go through. But anyway, I'm talking absolute shit because I'm starting to get tired now. But thank you very much for coming along. If you haven't already, you should definitely hit subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description.